5 Worst Foods for Your Brain That Might Shock You As commands central for your body and your personality, the brain is pretty darn essential. Obviously all of your thoughts, feelings, and memories stem from the brain, but it is also working really hard even when you don't think you're doing anything. The brain keeps your heart beating and your lungs breathing, manages motor function, and decides what information to process during every moment of your entire life. So keeping your brain happy and healthy is a big deal. But how to do it? It's not like we can lift weights with our brains or anything. One way is proper nutrition. Eating right not only helps to keep your head clear on a daily basis, it can also slow the rate of aging-related cognitive decline and reduce your risk of developing dementia. And not only should you eat lots of good stuff, it's also wise to avoid certain foods that are just the worst for your brain. Start by skipping or reducing the following five foods in your diet. 1. Mercury-laden fish. Fish is one of those tricky foods that can be both super healthy and really dangerous. On the positive side, fish is low in saturated fat, high in omega-3 fatty acids, and has a nice nutritional profile that includes vitamin B12, zinc, iron, and magnesium. But on the negative side, some types of fish are really high in mercury. Excessive consumption of mercury causes neurological damage in the brain. What's worse, mercury stays in the body for a really long time. To limit your consumption of mercury while still enjoying fish, avoid orange ruffy, tuna, king mackerel, swordfish, shark, and tilefish. These are larger, predatory fish that contain high levels of mercury because they eat a lot of smaller fish that each contain a low level, thereby accumulating and storing it throughout their lives. 2. Processed and Packaged Foods We know that processed and packaged foods are brimming with fat, sugar, and salt. These are the three distinguishing elements of the so-called Western diet. But we usually think about the effect this has on the body, not on the brain. Actually, it's all connected. A Western diet tends to cause an accumulation of fat around the vital organs, and this in turn has been associated with an actual reduction in the brain's volume, as well as damage to its tissues. A diet loaded with excess sugar, salt, and fat may also disrupt the ability of the blood-brain barrier to keep out harmful substances. Setting aside the time to cook fresh, whole food at home will pay dividends in terms of your mental acuity and physical energy. So in a way, you spend time to make time. 3. Trans fats. Man, it feels good to eat fatty foods, at least, at first. That's because our bodies and brains really need it for proper function. However, the type of fat makes all the difference in terms of health value. The kind of fat found in avocados, nuts, fish, and eggs is generally considered good for you. The bad fats are trans fats, and these have been shown to cause harm to the brain. But even within this category there is a distinction to be made. Trans fats occur naturally in meat and dairy products, and you should definitely limit your intake of these foods. The type of trans fat it is best to avoid entirely comes in the form of hydrogenated oil, a commercially produced fat that is used in products like chips and crackers, margarine, creamy beverages, store-bought baked goods, and frozen meals. High intake of hydrogenated oil has been linked to the occurrence of Alzheimer's and dementia, as well as earlier cognitive decline, lower brain volume, and poorer memory. 4. Refined carbs. Carbs are the body's source of ready fuel, and they are not the enemy. However, refined carbohydrates are a different thing because the original grains have been processed so heavily. Most of the nutrition is removed during the refining process. Even though white flour does not taste sweet, it breaks down in your body the same way that straight sugar does. So when you eat flour tortillas, white bread, and many types of cereal, you receive a high glycemic load that spikes your blood sugar. This can result in all the same problems as eating too much refined sugar, such as inflammation, memory impairment, and an increased risk of dementia. Children whose diets are high in refined carbs have been found to score lower on non-verbal intelligence tests, while elderly people with the same diet are twice as likely to experience mental impairment. 5. Aspartame. What can we do when our brains are clamoring for sugar but we are trying to be good? A sweet tooth is a real thing. Unfortunately, the answer does not lie in an artificial sweetener, especially not aspartame. 
Even though the FDA still calls aspartame safe, multiple studies have linked the stuff to cognitive and behavioral issues. One study showed that just eight days of a diet high in aspartame resulted in participants scoring lower on mental tests, and they felt more irritable and depressed than normal as well. And it's worthwhile to note that even though the FDA says aspartame is safe, it also requires products that contain it to have warning labels. Conclusion One of the challenging things about our brains is that they often tell us to do things that aren't very good for us. Eating junk food provides an immediate rush of feel-good chemicals, but in the long run can be quite damaging. Add in an exhausting modern life that saps all of our creative energy and it can be a serious challenge to eat right. So give yourself permission to ease into it. Your brain won't care for a huge dietary overhaul that happens all at once, and that makes it extremely hard to maintain. Start scaling back by tackling each item on our list one at a time. As you gain some success you will feel the rewards in terms of clearer thinking and more energy on a daily basis. And when you are eventually able to seriously limit these five foods in your daily diet, your risk of dementia or Alzheimer's will go down, as will the rate of cognitive decline that comes with aging. Sharp as attack, that's you. Thank you for watching this video. If you feel valuable and meaningful to you, don't forget to give me a like and share button so that others will receive the same value as you. Please comment down below if you have any questions. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you press the subscribe button below and click on the notification tone to get the earliest notification every time I release a video.